back with Oh my week. God. <laughs> what? what? After Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. Chocolate. Oh, who doesn't love chocolate? Come on. So much chocolate. <laughs> Myself chocolate. Uh, <laughs> oh, fun. Hi. Hi. I, I love peppermint bark. <laughs> oh, my God. I do too. I We call it Christmas crack. Um, yeah. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So it was an adventure today. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm. I think I'm recovered from uh, my turkey palooza. <laughs> Every year. I have to say though, oh my god, I was, I was so mad at Whole Foods. <laughs> they cannot. I don't know. Ever since this whole online thing, you can only order the turkey online. You can't like talk to the butcher. Like you used to go up it before Amazon took it over. Right. You go up to a little table, you order the turkey, you right. talk to the butcher, blah, blah, blah. and I could tell them exactly what I wanted. Right. And they would have me come over and I would explain to the butcher what I wanted. No, not now. So they had me fill out the thing online. And the, when I called the meat department, they said, oh, no, just order the turkey. When you get here, just bring it over to us and, and we'll butcher it on the spot. I get there and the turkey is frozen like a rock. Oh, no. So nobody's butchering anything. Oh no! I was so mad, and so I had to come back at four o'clock. I'm sure the girl thought I was a lunatic that was taking the notes down, and either she didn't take them down the way I told her, or once again the butcher did not understand what I meant when I said only remove the legs, wings, and thighs, leave the breast alone, whole. Don't cut it. What about that? Don't you get? Don't take out the back. Don't take out the neck. I need the breast whole. What do I do? I come home and the neck and the and the back is removed so I no longer can stuff the breast and I can't put anything up under the skin because the skin is now loose. Oh my god. This is like a palooza nightmare. Okay. I know. I was I was surgically putting my turkey back together. It was so stupid. But then my neighbor, my poor neighbor, who's like a she's an angel on earth. She's a nurse. She did not want to cook. So um, she ordered her turkey dinner and she gets there and they don't have it. They have prime rib <laughs> on Thanksgiving. Oh my God. I was just like, what did you do? She, you know, she was so funny. She's so, I know, right? <laughs> so she does, she's, she said to me, this is all she said to me was, I don't pivot well. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, I don't either, but I let it fly. So she's just like, well, am I going to have to pay more for it? And here's me thinking, you should be giving my whole dinner to me for free. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Me. So she full pays. Blown, full blown uh, care. And where's the manager on that situation? I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. she said to the lady, am, am I the only one that this, this has happened to? And the poor clerk goes, oh, no, there and there will be more after you, but you're the nicest one. <laughs> I think it, I was uh, like, oh, no. so. Of course, I sent turkey over to her house the next day because I felt so bad she didn't have turkey on Thanksgiving. She at least needed leftovers. <laughs> that's so sad. I mean, I think it's really a, just this travesty that we just don't have relationships anymore with the people. The you know, I, that's why I love the mm -hmm. farmer's market because you can still have a connection with your yeah. food and the people are growing and, you know, creating your food. It's like, you know, the butcher used to know who the butcher is and talk to them, yep. they know you, they know what you like. I thought the butcher there, before um, Amazon took it over, the butcher behind the counter, I can still see him in my mind. He knew me every year. He knew exactly how to cut my turkey. I, it, no, as soon as Amazon took it over, you know, within a few weeks, all the people I knew were gone. Whole Foods used to be better. I don't. I don't really go there a lot anymore because this is so. Well, and plus, a lot of the other places, I think bird flu took out a lot of turkey, so there was also a shortage of turkey. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whereas my kids say, "Mom, don't buy anything from Jeff." Okay, that's the Gen <laughs> Z. That's the Gen Z. 
Um, ay, ay, ay. Well, anyway. Anyway, so we got through Thanksgiving and it was delicious. And thank God it, it all came off, you know, as well. But I, you know, I was kind of, I was like that baby in the, the, that gif I send all the time. is like, <laughs> oh my God, everybody I know. And I was one of the people who didn't have to cook a giant meal this year. I attended a beautiful Thanksgiving. Yeah. Um, That's nice. And it was wonderful to attend and only have to make one dish. But everybody mm -hmm. I know who worked so hard, I mean, you need two or three days to recover. I mean, it's so Yeah, I, I definitely, I, w I was out like a light on Friday. And still Saturday, I wasn't quite with it. Yeah. So, but I feel good today. So there you go. Now I'm prepping Christmas. So All right. on we go. Ready to Christmas. Christmas. Okay. So it's so weird. I was like making a Christmas thing today for our post, and I was like, Christmas, I just can't wrap my head around it yet. It's coming, I know. Um, so, and it's my birthday, so I should remember. That's right, <laughs> Miss Noel. <laughs> but um, so here's the thing about this bark, okay? AKA Christmas crack. You know this as well as I do. It is the easiest thing to make ever, it's so few ingredients. You can just change it up to your heart's content. It's so fun to, mm -hmm. to experiment and make different things. Um, and the, the main thing you have to remember is you, if you, you know, this is, if you're especially going to get it for a gift, or I would say make it for yourself too, is just buy the best quality chocolate you can. That is yep. key. Mm -hmm. So what do we have here? Because I'm doing the white and the dark chocolate. So That's the way I like it. I like the combo. So what did I get? Okay, I got this Swiss white chocolate. It has no palm oil. It's all cocoa butter. You know how oh, we know you know how we are. Beautiful. Um so so I got I got three of those. And then <laughs> I'm just making one sheet. And then here's the thing. The third Hi. the third ingredient is hi, Peggy, is um is okay so then i got some dark chocolate and they didn't have any peppermint oil at whole foods they only had peppermint extra. what so um oh, no. you can't do the extract i've been told i mean i i've made this a long time ago i haven't made it in a while because it has water and alcohol can really mess up your chocolate you want to just do a little bit of peppermint oil they didn't have the edible oil i, I actually went into the the body section and saw the different oil. I go, hey, okay, hey, little, little known secret. You and I are so alike, it's ridiculous. Okay, you call that crack? So I have a bottle of peppermint oil from the body shop that I call theater crack. And I use it every time before I perform anything. Even when I'm auditioning, I put a little drop on my hand. I, I remember lick it. when you did that. I remember when you did that. Okay. Well, here I am with the whole lady going, like, can I eat this? She's like, absolutely not. Absolutely not. And I go, but I need it. And so she wouldn't let me take it. And uh, so then I found this Choco Love with peppermint. Okay. Oh, nice. So it already has it in. So, because I want the dark chocolate to be pepperminty. And I looked yeah. at the ingredients and it's peppermint oil. Okay. But they didn't have as many bars, so I'm going to add a little bit of guitar. Uh, oh, I love that. I used that in my pie this year, my walnut pie. Oh, it was so good. Yummy. So then I've already pre-smashed my candy canes. And Ooh. That, did you get the candy canes from um, Whole Foods or from Pharmaca or something? I had these. I got these from Sprouts. And oh, I like their candy canes too. Always has. And if you don't know about candy canes, I'm going to inform you right now. Okay. Candy canes, like the little ones you get at the doctor's office, I never <laughs> eat those yeah. because they have high fructose corn syrup in them. And I just don't put yeah. that in my body. Okay. No, I love the ones that don't have it. These are the real deal sugar kind. Okay. Yeah. This regular mainline yeah. sugar. Okay. I like, um, the, sometimes Whole Foods has them with um, maple syrup. Yes. As, those it, are, those are really There's good. some companies that make them, the artisanal candy canes. Just you mm -hmm. want to go that way. You can't go back. I mean, the other ones. Yeah. Oh, no. 
They don't even taste like the other. They com are a completely different flavor. And sometimes Trader Joe's has those candy canes, yeah. but they do not carry peppermint oil. <laughs> well, they do not. But they will have the good kind of candy canes at Trader Joe's too. Just look at the ingredients. Just don't get the ones with high fructose corn syrup. Then I have also, I like to add a little bit of my vegetable colored sprinkle sparkles on the top just to make it, you know. Because you're a mom. <laughs> you know, so, okay. So we're going to do that. So what do I have going on here? Right here, as you can see, I have my double boiler. It's oh my God, I love that double boiler so much. And I know you do. And um, it's beautiful. If you don't have a double boiler, you're going to want to take a glass or metal bowl on top of boiling water and use pot holders because that bowl is going to get hot. Mm -hmm. With this, I just, I'm grabbing it with a, um, with a dish towel. But right now, no water is boiling, okay? I've taken, um, this is my newest trick. I use a frying pan for the water because that way the water is low and it doesn't splash into the container. If you're using a taller um, pot inside, um, you do not want to get water on the chocolate because the chocolate will seize. <laughs> Here is the thing about chocolate. Okay, and that's why I'm not using the peppermint extract. I'm using peppermint oil. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. if, if I were going to do it, but as we all know, as I just said, I couldn't find it, but it's in the chocolate. Yeah. Really. But yeah, no water or moisture can come near the chocolate. It will, as they say, fuck it up completely. Yeah. And See, you know, it, it tightens like <laughs> this and it's a whole process. So don't do that. So the first thing we're going to do is I just put this, so it was boiling. Now I'm putting it down to low. Okay. Okay. And I'm just touching this and it's pretty warm. So. That's going to, this is, so this chocolate, peppermint dark chocolate is 55% um, cocoa. Um, I love chocolate love chocolate. It's I know, good. I love chocolate love too. And you know why I love it? Because they have the love sonnets in the wrapper. Oh, yes. Brianna, it's sonnet 16 from Shakespeare. Isn't that, that nice? Is so beautiful. Um, so anyway, so I always think... Like when it was the kids making this with me when they were little, it would be like, you know, oh, Willy Wonka, we're going to buy the golden ticket. I still get a small thrill from um, I know. You know, opening these up. So, okay, so how much chocolate do you ask? Okay, each of these is 3.2 ounces. So if I've got three of them, um, I'm supposed to have 10. That's like three, that's like 9.8 or just under. So yeah. A couple, I'm going to do a couple of, uh, you know, teaspoon, tablespoons of the guitard semi sweet. So I'm just breaking this yeah. up, Oops. putting it in the double boiler. No moisture. See, that, see, that's the thing about that double boiler. It's tight against the, the, where right. the pot that has water in it. So I you don't splash. have that risk. No splash. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's black. There's no risk of seizing. Right. No, see, you don't want seized chocolate. Especially if you buy nice chocolate, you're ruining your investment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This time, it's a it's a definite investment. Okay, so this is going to go on an 11 by 17 cookie sheet, which I have already lined with parchment paper. Okay. We'll go. We'll go to that with camera two in a moment. Okay. So I'm getting it really? out. I'm getting a spatula that I know I haven't used in garlic or anything. I'm just testing it. <laughs> this is like, you know, how odors sort of, you know, catch on. Yeah. So you don't want to do that. Okay, so I'm adding a little bit of this to it also. So if you have that issue, um, you can do what I did when I made the pavlova. I, I rubbed a lemon all over my uh, spatula oh, yeah. and I rinsed it with hot water. Okay. So this is amazing. It's melting so quickly. Um, this is going to be great. It's so easy. This is all you have to do. We're gonna... What? It's because you have that beautiful double boiler. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Well, you're you're just going to melt the dark chocolate. We're going to put that down. Then we're okay. going to put it in the refrigerator to um, solidify. 
Then we're going to melt the white chocolate. <laughs> then we're going to put the white chocolate on top of the dark chocolate. Then we're going to put on the candy cane. That's it. Then you just put it in the fridge. It's, it's easy. There's no reason to buy peppermint bark. <laughs> no, and you can make it so um, well. You know what I mean? Like, it's better because the store-bought kind, even if it's the best kind, it's got some stuff in it to keep it preserved, you know, probably, you know. I don't know. Maybe that Ghirardelli one's good. Have you ever gotten that? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't I mean, do. It's pretty good, but I think it's homemade we need to make it. Homemade is always better. No, I, I, and I know um, William Sonoma has one in a, and they have a, they have it in a beautiful tin. Yeah, they have, tin. They have mm -hmm. a good, they have a good mm -hmm. one. But, but uh, there's something wonderful about making it yourself. And it's so it's so simple. Mm -hmm. And you can feel like Willy Wonka, you know, just hanging out, melting chocolate. <laughs> Why not? I know. Okay, here's something I learned too. So some people have problems with if you do the two types of chocolate, them separating when they cool. Well, mm -hmm. that's because you didn't buy good white chocolate and they make white chocolate with palm oil. A lot of the time to make it cheaper instead of the cocoa butter. So just, you know, bring for a little. I haven't time. had that one. I haven't had the Harry and David one. They might make one, but again, just yeah, read the good. ingredients. Yeah, just read the ingredients. You don't, you want the cocoa butter and the chocolate. You, you don't want palm oil and the chocolate. Okay, so this is melting beautifully. Oh my God, it's so good. I'm just gonna taste it because. <laughs> because you can. <laughs> okay. It's got the full blown peppermint oil. Okay. It's ready to go. There's your answer. You don't even need to buy separate peppermint oil. Just get the chocolate with the peppermint. Don't ask, Peggy. Don't ask. <laughs> there it goes. Okay. So this is almost melted. Then we're going to pour it out on the cookie sheet. No, why do you need Harry and David? You could have Lisa and Debriana. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Well, someday when we sell our merch. <laughs> Don't you like how I how I coordinated with with the um peppermint bark theme and Christmas is coming with my reindeer sweater? You did. You did. You did. You definitely did. Thank you for that. You were getting me I'm getting in the Christmas spirit right now making this. Just tasting. We put out our Christmas tree this year. Okay, you guys, this is, I, I guess I should take a picture of it. Our Christmas tree in the front yard, we um, put it with the, we make it out of large tomato steaks, the ones that curl like this. Yeah. And we make them in a cone. Yeah. And tie it at the top. And then we wrap it all with lights. And that's our Christmas tree in the front yard. That's wonderful. It's that fun. Cool. Okay. We're crafty. <laughs> We're crafty that way. Um, this is almost done. Okay. So do you temper your chocolate or no? We don't no. Are are you supposed to? Oh hi Donna, my you, sister. You can. <laughs> hi Donna. Um winner best photo 2020. That's okay. right. <laughs> The contest is coming to a close. This cake was like none other. Mm hmm Okay, so this is totally melted. All right, we're gonna adjust, we're turning it off. We're gonna adjust the camera here. Get someone in the crew to do the camera work. Wow. I know, Don't. where's the crew today? Are they on vacation? I don't know where the crew is. They abandoned me. Right on okay, so have you ever done it on top of the silicone pad? Could you use that? Yes, you can do that. You can. Okay. Okay, now, what am I doing right now? I'm wiping down <laughs> after all that water talk. That's right. I did splash a little bit on the bottom, which is normal, on the ceramic. So I'm just. Oh, nice. Her. We love dessert trays. But there's nothing. Okay. I just want to 
point out to everyone. Yeah, you don't want to get water on the chocolate. Do not get water on the chocolate. Have we said that enough? <laughs> right. So, who's had chocolate seeds before? You can tell us your horror stories. So, um, and then now I have a special, like, you know, uh, what do you call this? Spatula type. Spatula? Threading thing. Yeah. Um, it's probably from 1968. You know this pattern. <laughs> my mom's. <laughs> Yay. So, this parchment paper, Debriana, remember the roll you gave me in 2020 when you did a Costco run one time? Yeah. I still have it. Of course you do. <laughs> that roll is still going. It's huge. Everything at Costco no is huge. No water. Okay, here we go. We're pouring out the chocolate. Woo! Nice. Oh, yum. Lovely, lovely, gorgeous chocolate. Okay. It's already got yeah. peppermint oil in it, but let's just say I didn't have chocolate with peppermint oil. Then you would add about five to ten drops of oil, depending on how pepperminty you want it. Mm -hmm. I you. Which is also the fun part. You can kind of control that. Yes. Okay, so now I'm going to spread this out. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to spread the chocolate. So if that's an old one. I think the new offset spatulas, they have like a step down instead oh, yeah. of being completely flat. They're a little bit easier to use. Yeah. Um, than the completely flat ones, but. You know, things do improve over the years. Yeah. I like to keep telling myself that. Right. <laughs> oh. So I'm just making this be like the size. It's very easy. Just spreading it out the length of the cookie sheet. That's how big my bark piece of bark is going to be. And are you going to put that in the fridge or the freezer or does it matter? Um, I was going to put it in the fridge. Um, what do you think? It, I think sometimes it just depends on how fast you want it to go. Yeah. Well, but I, I if you have room in the fridge, just stick it in there. I was going to melt the white chocolate with you, but I don't know. Do we have time to do that? <laughs> <laughs> so when, uh, well, we can talk about it. Do you, when you put the white chocolate on there, do, do you lay it like as a second complete layer or do you swirl it through? Well, this is the situation. Now, if I put it in the fridge and I make it right now, this is probably not going to cool all the way. Right. You could do the swirl if you want to take a toothpick, you know, or a barbecue skewer or whatever and make a swirl if you want. You could do that. Um, yeah, that if you put the chocolate on it and then you drag the, the um, skewer or the toothpick through it, or a knife. You can use yes. a knife too. Yes. Um, it makes the, that really pretty sort of zigzaggy design. It's like when you get a latte, it's like a chevron, you know? <laughs> if you want to get technical. It's a um, chevron. But yeah. Here's I, me. Zigzaggy would be the, the appropriate term. I'm probably As in my sweater, probably zigzaggy. I do that because <laughs> I like the swirl. I think it's pretty. Yeah, I do too. Um, so this is going very well. <laughs> oh, let's look at it. Okay, here we go. Okay, are you are you just like you're just spreading it out so it's kind of even across the bottom of the pan? Yeah. Great, that looks great. No problem. Okay, so there's a lot of chocolate in here still, so I'm gonna try to get all that in there. Now look, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's bark. That's the cool thing. It's <laughs> bark. It can be uneven and messed up, like tree bark. Right, Seamus? Oh, I yeah. saw a passing Seamus. Hi, Shay. Seamus sighting. Yes. I Are am. you excited about the bark? I sure am. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he'll probably eat the whole thing. Um, it's just fine. Um, Isn't it great being a teenage boy? I'll eat the whole thing. <laughs> you're, you're, you want this? The rest of us are like, oh, I'll have a piece. <laughs> so, all right. So this is going to be cool. 
then I'm gonna make the white chocolate in the in the double boiler. Same exact thing, okay? Mm -hmm. and then after that, all you have to do is um, put the white chocolate on, and then you take the crushed candy canes. I gotta clean it for you. And then you, when the white chocolate is still malleable, you know, you just spread it on and push it down a tiny bit. Try to pat it down, yeah, so it doesn't yeah. come off when you break it. And if you want, you can, oh God, that's good. Wow. <laughs> Um, if you want, you can, right before you take the white chocolate off the stove, take a little bit of the crushed candy cane, stir it in the pot so it's in there, that's mm. in the white chocolate, then put it on, put some more on top as well. Okay. We're making candy. Um, Yum. Making candy. So, you know, you could make a ton of these cookie sheets full of this stuff. You could put it in tins. It lasts for like three weeks, you know. Yeah. So, in the fridge. So, there, look, you're just in time for Christmas. You could give this to friends and family. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still waiting for my cookie tins to come in. At this, this year, I swear to God, it's like you can't find anything. Usually, I have all my cookie tins by now, but. They haven't gotten here yet. <laughs> right? All your cookie tins, because if you don't know, Debriana is totally famous for giving <laughs> cookies. The cookie queen. And someday she will do a cookie cookbook, just that. There are a lot of her cookies and sweets in our cookbook. Uh, that time mm -hmm. was really. But she gives homemade cookies to people she loves and I've been the lucky recipient of her amazing cookies and they're just to die for. And she go, just describe that while I'm washing the double boiler. <laughs> I think it was, it's so funny. I've been making the, doing the different cookie things thing. that you make. Yeah, I've been doing that cookie thing. Oh, thank you. Um, face, Facebook <laughs> user, whoever said that. Um, I've been making cookies and giving them away uh, as Christmas presents for, I don't know, as long as I can remember. And usually I do somewhere between 10 and 13 different kinds. Wow. And I never thought to count them. I just stopped baking when I thought I had enough. Well, one year my husband decided to count them and he counted over a thousand cookies. Oh, hi, <laughs> a thousand cookies, that's amazing. And I just do it every year. I mean, I have, it's just like Thanksgiving. I have my master plan. <laughs> I know what I'm gonna do. So and I know when it, to start. Tell it while I wash this. Tell it, and I have to get rid of all the water. Um, <laughs> tell us about the ones you're going to make this year. Are you doing it? You um, yeah, I am. I'm. I the the only thing I'm not sure about is if we'll do um, Feast of the Seven Fishes this year because I don't know, um, you know, how COVID is going to be. It, it seems like uh, it's already starting to ramp up, and there's that nasty flu. So I don't know if I'm going to want to pack you know, a gazillion people into my house to do that. But um, I'll still send out the cookies. So, yeah, I um, there's so many. I, I, every year I get a new cookie book, and I kind of flip through it to see um, which ones I that, that I might want to add to my list and drop off some. There's some that are always the same that I can't resist. And here's me. I make a 1,000 cookies. I probably eat three. <laughs> I've eaten like half a tin of yours, full disclosure, transparency. Um, you know, so good. It's ridiculous. I mean. Yeah, I have, um, I have to drive this really friends that for years have been getting my cookies. Well, their kids are now grown. Um, but, uh, but when their kids were little, they used to hide them up on the top of the refrigerator so that the kids wouldn't eat the cookies. <laughs> Okay, this looks really dry to me. It's ceramic. I, it doesn't seem like there's any mm -hmm. moisture, but I'm going to actually put it on top of the heat to just, you know. Make sure it. there's nothing left in there. Operator. No water. We're going back to the stove. Here we go. Does anybody care? Do you want us to keep going or we can just tell you about it? <laughs> okay. White chocolate. White chocolate. 
Okay. Un unpackage it. Melt it. <laughs> yeah, it's just so much work. Oh my god. I'm going to Wonka's factory. No, I'm kidding. Um, wow. This is this looks good. Seamus, come here. It's so nice. I love I, I love good white chocolate that's really done with cocoa butter. This says this is you, Debriana. <laughs> white chocolate with bourbon vanilla. Okay. <laughs> that's the only kind of vanilla there is. Bourbon vanilla. <laughs> Oh my God. See, I don't even really like white chocolate, but wow. Yeah. When it's really good, it's good. I'm with you. I only like it if it's really good white chocolate and it's such a huge difference. Otherwise, it's just like eating sugar. It's just What's sweet. What's the point? Yeah. And no, you know, you've got to have really good cocoa butter. And you know where you can get your chocolate too is um, Cost Club. They have yeah. Chocolate. yeah, they do. They do. I like. I they have. I love to cruise their food aisle. Oh yeah, good chocolate. They have really unusual things. I got um a a fig sausage kind of salami thing this year that I put on a, a bruschetta with um, my homemade pesto and roasted tomatoes, and yeah. putting that little fig slice on top of fig salami was perfection. That sounds so good. It was. <laughs> that, like, I'm like I'm like a chemist. <laughs> that salami is my Croatian love language. <laughs> all cured meat. All cured meats. Okay, so I'm putting this in. This was about um <laughs> total about ten and a half ounces for one sheet. One eleven by. 7. Okay. That's what you need to do with both types of chocolate. People okay. are complaining that you're eating the chocolate and they can't, and they can't have any. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, this is a clean spatula. There is no moisture on it. Okay. Chocolate's melting, melting well. Yeah, that white the white chocolate sometimes goes a little faster because it's a it's all that cocoa butter. It's pretty much just cocoa butter and sugar, right? It's nothing. Should else. be. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's nothing else. Oh. <laughs> going to be good okay so while this is melting i mean you know i guess we could do it we could try together which i could put it on top probably, it'll probably yeah be. do it the thing is do I, it do it as long <laughs> as your chocolate is um not uh what's what's it called when it gets ruined what's, it, what's the word seizing it, as long as it doesn't seize you can't really make a mistake okay yeah so I'm, I have the uh, dark chocolate in the fridge, but you know, probably still be a little bit soft, but I'm gonna put this on. I'm thinking, you know how, you, how baristas do this? If I put it on in like stripes or whatever, and then I could mm -hmm. make the design. Yep, yep, yep. You should yeah. be able to do that. Girl, I'm gonna do the Oh, same. look, look at us creating a Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> Some said Picasso. Okay, so while this is melting, how about we just talk some politics? Why Who's not? out there texting or I phone banking it. or Raphael Warnock so we don't get a crazy man in the Senate? It's, a, it's one more week until their election, right? It's next Tuesday, right? Yeah, I think we, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah so anybody who can help, uh, you know, do some phone banking or texting here. Let, let me help you with an on-screen agenda. <laughs> Look at the bottom of the screen. Yes. Right. Here's at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> Here are some groups to join. Okay, wait. I think that, that vote forward is probably done with, um, is probably done with uh, doing postcards. But um, vote, oh, here. Next, it's someone saying next Tuesday. Thank you, Facebook next user. Tuesday, yeah. <laughs> couple of more tips on this. Okay, so after you put on the white chocolate on top and then you sprinkle your fresh candy cane and you push them down gently, I'm gonna put this back in the fridge to totally um, harden and solidify. When you take it out, let it go to room temperature before you break it, right? Yeah. Otherwise it gets melty, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And I'm just going to break oh. it with a knife. Thanks, I'm Kelly. Hands on it. Uh -huh. Chop it with a knife. And the little sections. Bite, little bite sized pieces. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi, Facebook user, my sister. <laughs> Everybody is Facebook user. <laughs> yeah, we don't, we can't see any. Unless you're on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, we can see your name. If you're on Facebook, we have, you're mm -hmm. anonymous. Yes, Facebook, we well, you know, you know, Facebook is Facebook. <laughs> this is getting good in here. This is getting good. Yum. Okay, let's do a little taste of Are you going to put some crushed um, candy canes in there now? Not yet. It's okay. Fully melted, but when it is, I'm going to, and then I'll use the rest to put on top because I want to have a peppermint in every bite. You know what I mean? Ah, yes. Peppermint oh. flavor in every bite. Now, how could you change this up, Debriana, if you wanted to do level up on this and do different things? What else? Could oh, I think some people like to add pretzels. Or Rice crispy Treats, I've heard. Oh, Rice Krispies for a different crunch. Different kind of crunch, yeah. Some people do that. Um, you I don't know. I've never really added nuts to it. But I guess you could. You could do chocolate and nuts works every time. And you don't have... I would, I would do like pistachios or um, macadamia nuts, maybe. And if you didn't want to do peppermint, you don't have to. You can just melt chocolate in different forms. Like, what's that bark you make with the pistachio? What's that one? Oh, oh yeah. I used um, uh, white chocolate and uh, and um, pistachio nuts. I mean, there wasn't any peppermint in it, but boy, it was good. I you, used orange. You put that on your panna cotta, right, or something? Yeah, I did. Okay. Mm -hmm. So see, you can experiment with bark. I mean, it's just you're melting. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly's saying, put some THC drops in. <laughs> you know, there's that. You can always do that. <laughs> <laughs> People will be like, oh my God, this was the best peppermint park I've ever had. <laughs> You're like, I had this peppermint park. <laughs> wow, this peppermint bar. There's something about it. I can't explain. This is melting beautifully, and I'm going to show you. It's got vanilla bean. I don't know if you can see it. And, oh, beautiful. And it's just, it's exquisite white chocolate. I mean, I never, I can't even. Well, the thing is, you have to get good white chocolate or it just tastes like paste. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is really yummy. This is going to be great. Okay. Well, I've got this going for dinner. Now what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> I Oh, well, here's, here's a hint for, um, leftovers uh i tonight i am making turkey ramen <laughs> and there you go debriana i know ramen on the show i never met anybody who can make a magic out of anything left over you can make magic out of it. <laughs> okay so this is an this is another one well you know our i did mashed potatoes but i'm going to add chopped up um artichoke hearts to the mashed potatoes and mm. some cheese and egg and then make like little potato pancakes yum out of the end of the mashed potatoes you're making kind of little little latkes, latkes yeah wow special park. yes very special park this is almost <laughs> melted if people want to stick around i can put it on top of the dark chocolate otherwise you can just see the photo later what do you think yeah we can do the photo later. We're good. Yeah, we don't want it to be too long. It's so yeah. easy. It's so easy, you guys. So let's let's review. Melt the dark chocolate. Put it out on a cookie sheet with parchment paper. Cool it in the fridge. Then melt the white chocolate. Make sure your pan is really clean. No water. No water. No moisture. Double boiler. Okay. Then or a pan with water with a steel or glass bowl on top. Use a hot pad, you know, hot hold, pot holder to, to touch the thing because it'll get really hot. Okay, then I'm going to take part of the crushed candy canes and put it in the melted white chocolate so there's some inside the chocolate. Then I'm gonna spread it on top of the dark chocolate that's hardened in the fridge. 
I'm going to make a little swirly design, and then I'm going to put the rest of the crushed candy canes on top, press them down gently, refrigerate. I don't know, probably to be done in an hour, right? Yeah. It take that long. And then take it out, let it go to room temperature, and then break it apart. You have beautiful bark, and I will post a photo. Yay. So easy. Right so slow. Easy. And the Christmas season has begun. <laughs> the Christmas elfing has begun. Woo! Oh my God. I could eat this whole thing. I know. That's bad. It's, well, it is dinner time. That's kind of hard. <laughs> I know. It's like sugar, sugar. Okay, it's all melted. I'm going to put a portion of the candy cane. Oh, in. look. Uh, there's Ooh. my sister. She signed in with YouTube. <laughs> nice. Yay. Uh, nice to see you. Okay. Now, when you crush the candy canes, I did this with a mallet in a plastic bag. You get a lot of dust, okay? Mm -hmm. Little peppermint dust. And so that's the part I want to go in here more than the chunks. Yeah, there. the big crunchy parts yeah. that you want to put on top and as decoration. So I'm kind of like with my hand because I don't want any moisture. I have these like freshly washed spoons over there and I'm like, no. Okay, so I'm putting it in. I turned off the heat. And here we go. Mix. This is all. The dust is going in. The pixie dust. <laughs> now this is making the white chocolate peppermint tea and adding another flavor to it, which is great. Yeah. Okay. On the inside. Okay. I got to make this now, Debriana. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see. Am I going to do it in, with you or do you, should we stop? Yeah. I, I say do it. Are they, are, nobody's doing anything right now. Okay, fine. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Okay, I'm getting a um, little stick. You could, okay. You could use, you know, anything. Um, that looks like, a, I don't know, like a skewer, barbecue thing. That's a barbecue thing. Okay, what am I doing? I'm drying this off again. I don't want any. Yeah, make sure. Water to spill. Okay. Uh, yes, it's my sister. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is Donna giving me sign approval? And then I've got my sprinkles too. I forgot. You can Ooh. add if you want. Whatever your favorite sprinkles are. I like this brand. It's called. Oh my God, what's it called? It's called. Um, it's called Susie's S or Sussie's S U S S I E, and it's vegetable dyes <laughs> in for the colors are not toxic or Watkins. As yeah. Thing, Those are really good. They're great. Yeah. You don't want it, the least amount of toxicity. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, we have time to do it. This is great. Oh my God, it's perfectly hardened. You want to see? Yes, <laughs> let me see. <laughs> Okay, you guys. See? Oh, look at that. That went fast. So easy. Yeah, super easy. I mean, there's really nothing to this at all. It's just so ridiculous how easy it is. Okay. All right, here comes the... Okay, how am I going to do this? I want to make this little... Is it... Oh, God, Debriana, if I hardened it, that means it's not going to do the thing. <laughs> It's not going well, to it might it, it, because the the hot on top is going to melt it a little. Let's see. Okay. Oh. I mean, is it super hard already? Yes. Wow. Well, let's see. I'm going to just put it in different like long little strips right here. I don't know. What's yeah, it it should, it should do it. If I spread it on top of it and then by digging down with the stick. Maybe. I I bet it's going to melt it a little bit. It hasn't been in there that, that long. I know. Okay, well, let's just see. Let's see, won't we? Okay. I'm just going to go like this. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> uh, we can't see you. What's happening right now is I have it on top, and it is slowly... Kind of melting it and beginning to commingle. Yeah, it's, that's what I would think would happen because yeah. it is heated. Definitely. And that it's not like super thick, the chocolate. Right. 
So I that's can... right. It's no, it's bark. My sister's saying <laughs> there's no bark. need for it to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. So while this is warm, I'm going to take the stick. Yes. Did you notice I made I on the post today? I put little little dogs. Oh my God, I watched the dog show on, as I always do on Thanksgiving day. And um, that little French bulldog won. Oh, <laughs> yes, so cute. Cute. He's so cute. Mm. He's so cute. And the owner picked him up and hugged him like he was just like a person. It was the cutest thing. So I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just making swirls. Okay. But you know what? That's okay. It's really pretty. Where's the camera crew? I'm going to do the swirl. Oh, wait. wait, he's, wait. he's right here. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> camera crew. Okay, I'm making the swirl. It's totally cool. And that's it. I'm going to show you after I do it. Oh, God. This looks like some kind of Venetian paper. This is cool. <laughs> that's awesome. This is beautiful. Check it out. Okay. All right. Let's see it. For a person who can't draw. I'm proud of this. <laughs> See? It's pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. Okay. Now while it's still, yes. you know, I'm going to sprinkle. So cute. Here we go. Candy. <laughs> this is reminding someone of when you did the ratatouille, Lisa. I don't know why. <laughs> why is that? I don't, I, because she was surprising herself as she went along. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, my usual thing is, wow, this is really good. <laughs> oh, my God. It's turning out. <laughs> it's actually working. Okay. This is so great, you guys. You have to make this. It's wonderful. Okay. Let's see it. Okay. I've almost got all of the stuff on there. Oh, it's so cool. How much candy cane, candy cane did you use? Just like one whole one? No, I use like four. four okay. Medium size. Okay. Okay. I'm doing some sprinkles. Probably gonna ruin it, but <laughs> do not say that. How could you possibly ruin the bark? Oh no, it's the bark. Sprinkles. <laughs> oh, the sprinkles are great. It adds a little pop of color. Now, do I want to do green? Is the question. I was going to, and now I'm thinking maybe the red. Wait. I just I like it just red okay. myself. We're just gonna do red. Okay. Oh my god, this is so, it's so festive. This is great. Oh god. When oh okay, I can't wait to eat this. Okay. Check it out. <laughs> camera, camera guy. Look. Oh, look. It's oh, beautiful. beautiful. Oh my god. I did it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will post a photo. This has been an extra long show. You. And, you know, thanks for. Well, you know, in the old days, we used to do extra long shows <laughs> when everybody was home and had nothing to do. <laughs> Just go on and on. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll be back next week with more Christmas fun. With <laughs> Holiday fun. Uh, thanks for the great conversation, you guys. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna put this in the fridge now. Probably eat it later. I can't wait. Yum. All right. Have a great week, you guys. Help if you can. We gotta win Georgia. Great to see you all. Thanks for watching. Bye.